uh, Ukrainian national home, New York City. Um, it was Halloween night, uh, the year, maybe 1981 or 82. And it was Misfits, of course, with Glenn Danzig singing. And the Necros, great band from the Midwest. And uh, it was complete chaos and um, very um, influential uh, uh, on me and, and everything that I've done. Well, I miss a lot of clubs. Uh, of, of course, I, I miss CBGB's a lot because, you know, that's the home of, uh, of hardcore music. A7 was great, special memories there. But the, uh, the one that I miss the most would be Sundance on Long Island. We had so many great memories. Crumb Suckers were like considered a house band there. We had so many great shows. Uh, Frank Cariola, um, a, a legendary club owner uh, and, and a sweetheart of a guy. I know that um, Jimmy Gestapo was always very funny and, and animated in the pit, usually on somebody's shoulders. Um, but he was great. Um, and he would always, he was like the pit starter, you know, he would always get things going, you know, when, 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 when things needed to get going. Um, guy from Long Island, Scotty B, Scotty Burke, uh, one of the greatest stage divers I've ever seen. This guy would clear so many heads. Um, I'm amazed that he, that he's, he, that he lived to tell about it. Some of the Marauder guys, you know, later on. Uh, you know, I think Saab used to kill it out there. They, they're, uh, the dude Minus, the original singer, pretty um, crazy. You know, things, things got a little bit crazier, you know, with, with time and, and the pits got a little bit uh, more violent with, with the years. Danny from Biohazard. Um, Armand. Always a my, a my style of drummer, both of those guys, because they don't overplay, but they lay down to some real serious groove. Um, and a, a tie for third, I'm going to say Louis from Carnivore and Mackie. I would say uh, Minor Threat, 1983, Great Gildersleeves because I skipped my high school graduation to go to the show. Wow. I said, I'm not gonna miss this because I was such a big fan. And I said, I, I'll, I'll, I'll get my diploma later. I wasn't worried about it, you know? Who needs this cap and gown stuff, you know? We're gonna go see Minor Threat and, and you know, and get real, <laughs> you know? And it was great, you know, Gildersleeves, they had this um, really short carpeting on the stage from what I remember. And uh, a friend of mine, uh, that came with me on the, uh, to see the show from Long Island, went home with rug burns all over his head. <laughs> yeah, the show was, 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 uh, was pretty cool. It was intense. Well, without involving crumb suckers, I would say suicidal tendencies, um, corrosion of conformity, and DRI. Uh, very proud of both records. Um, with Life of Dreams, I, um, in my opinion, being the definitive uh, Crumb Suckers album. Um, but it's one of those things where if you, it depends who you ask, you know, uh, in terms of which, which is the best Crumb Suckers record. The metalheads will always say Beast on My Back and they will defend it to the death. And the hardcore scene will always... Um, hold life of dreams to a higher regard. And that's all well and good with me. And that is, um, it speaks very, very well for the, for the crossover scene in general, because these are, you know, we're, these are two different scenes being, being sort of brought together by music. Well, I would say Germany, because they've, uh, without Germany, it would, we'd have a hard time even uh, existing over there. It's, it's our biggest audience is in Europe is in Germany. Um, I love playing in the East, too. I love uh, playing Serbia, um, Romania, Bulgaria, uh, Russia. Um, it's, it's great. Europe is just, is just fantastic because you can literally be in a different country 
every day of the tour and um and experience different cultures and just uh it opens up a whole new world world for for touring musicians and to to be able to connect at that level not as on the, the touristic level is is very cool uh lemmy um brian baker from minor threat i always loved that bass tone i said man if i can only get that bass tone um and uh, Billy Gould, Faith No More, another one with, with a, a great bass tone. I actually contacted him many years ago, and I said, you, would you mind sharing what you're using, you know, to, to the T so I can, you know, get a similar tone? And he said, yeah, you use, I use a PV, uh, TB Rax preamp, which I got like a week later. And he said, and I, put a, I take a razor blade and I cut the speaker cone a little bit to get to instead of using a box for, for overdrive. And I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. And uh, I started coming up with these, some real kick-ass tones. And he was gracious enough to, you know, to give away his magic, you know. No. No, it's, it just goes through um, its stages of in, in, incarnations. And um, it always changes. Um, but hardcore is, you know, for me, it's more of a mentality than, than it is a, a style, specific style of music. So, um, you know, kids who are going through certain things in their life, and they always will, you know, and, and as, as long as the world continues to unravel <laughs> at the same pace it's been unraveling, you know, since the beginning of time, there'll always be a, a, a need for hardcore music because, you know, kids can always channel uh, their negative energy and turn it into something positive by, by this thing called hardcore music. Uh, Black and Blue Bowl is considered to be sort of the holy grail of uh, New York hardcore. And um, we're very thrilled, you know, that uh, they w invited us to play and um, that we're held in such high regard, you know, by so many people into hardcore music um, in the East Coast uh, and particularly in, in, uh, in uh, New York. So um, we're totally excited about it. We want to be able to represent our music, you know, just like back in the day. So it's, you know, we do have some work ahead of us. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really great. And, and if that were to be the last show, it, it would be a great one to go out on, I'm sure. Yeah.